In this video, we're going to be talking about um, using text and shapes in Create and Cut with our Wishblade. So let's go ahead and let's talk about our text tools. Um, the first text tool that is available to us is the normal text. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type normal text. And I'm going to click on the select arrow so we can take a look at all the options that are available in Design Central. Um, our text options, if you click on the A, will show up in Design Central. Let's go ahead and we will switch the font by clicking on the down arrow in the dialog box. And we'll go ahead and pick Brush Script because it's a nice script font. Um, let's call your attention to now what has happened to the actual text block itself. Um, we now have a line that runs along the baseline of the text. Um, and at the end of the baseline, we have got a arrow, which by pulling it out or pulling it in, causes the letter spacing to move. So that's real helpful when we're doing welded text and we want all those letters to touch real close. So we'll go ahead and we'll move those in a little bit. Another thing I want to draw your attention to are the control points that are along the baseline. Now these control points, if you select them, make all these options that are in Design Central are available to you, and you could do that for each individual letter as long as that control point is selected. So with the end control point selected, I can go ahead and I can do an enlarged letter. I can also grab the control point at the very top, and I can rotate it. So you can get some real nice whimsical effects by um, using that rotate. Okay, so that's normal text. Um, another thing about the normal text button that is helpful is that you can also do paragraph text with that um, simply by taking the cursor and dragging. You create a text block and then you could type in that text block. to create your paragraph text. And once you have paragraph text in that text block, you can use all those paragraph options. Let's go ahead and select it. So we go ahead and we've selected the paragraph text. And then we're going to choose the paragraph tab in Design Central. And you'll notice there are several different options that are available that are not in the normal text, um, such as justification. You can go ahead and do full alignment, which makes it go from space to space, and a lot of other options. So those are fun to play with as well. And go to the next text option, which is text to an ellipse. And by dragging with your mouse, you're going to be setting a circle that we're going to be able to type along. And notice that right away a cursor shows up that is on the circle. And we can go ahead and type text on an arc. And we go ahead and select it and that circle goes away. We can rotate it. If you notice that we've got um, a new tab in Design Central, so there's actually five tabs in here right now. Those options are available specifically for the text on the arc. Um, but all the other options are available as well. So you can go ahead and click back on the A, and you can use the arrow button to move letters closer. You can rotate and do all those things. The next available option in our text is our text on a path. Now text on the path, unlike the other ones, requires you to actually select a shape or a path. I'm going to go ahead and draw a quick path with our Bezier curve. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click right on that curve and it sets the cursor. So then I can go ahead and I can type text on path. And notice how it follows that path. So you can get some really nice effects there. And once again, if you go to Design Central, all your options are available, so any of those are editable. Okay, so the next one that we have is our vertical text. 
vertical text allows you to type vertically. And by selecting it, once again, you have all those options available. And then our final text option is similar to the text on the path tool, and it's text on the vertical text on a vertical path. So you need a vertical path as I have there, and we'll go ahead and we'll just type. And it's going to type downward just like it does the other way. So those are our five, <coughs> five options. So now let me show you some samples of some of the text cut out. This is our normal text. Um, this is actually welded together using the baseline arrow tool. We were able to pull the text together. I added some punctuation in between as well. Cut it out in one piece. So you can do an entire title that way. Here's arc text with the text on the curve. And path text that follows the path. Um, now path text can also be used with shapes as well. So you can draw along a flower or a heart or something like that, which would be really awesome. And vertical text going straight down. And here's our, a sample of our vertical path text.